I thought turning 30 was going to be one of the most life-changing things in my entire life, but it proved that life is a journey because not too many things changed. I just got a little older <laughs> and more wrinkly, but I want to share with you guys some of the things I've learned throughout the years that have changed my life. First thing is you need to find people that love you and learn how to love them back. I say this because love isn't a one-way thing. There's different ways to love everybody. And for me, the unconditional love I have found is my family and my friends. And uh, they've received more of my energy than anybody else has in the past 10 years. And that's the way I want it to be the rest of my life. The second thing is dogs are the answer to <laughs> eternal happiness. Trust me on this one. This girl here has seen me through college through nursing school. She's traveled all over the world with me and she's lived with me in the many different places that we've lived in. And I can't tell you how happy my dogs make me and how happy that she makes me. And I don't know, for me, just animals are just such a blessing and pets are such a blessing in our lives. And if you don't have a pet, I highly consider adopting a pet because they really do bring joy to your life. And especially when times get tough, they totally keep you going and yeah, love them so much. The next thing is not to give energy to temporary people in your life. Don't let people rob you of your energy, rob you of your happiness. Most of the people that are not important are just plain simple passing by roles in your life that are not important. And I'm tr trust me, a year, six months from now, they're not gonna matter. So anyone who's robbing you of your happiness and your energy, keep in mind they are temporary and you get to choose who you let into your life and who you don't so don't waste too much of your energy on them the next thing is to make time and energy for forever people in your life you need to figure out who is your forever peoples and who are the people who are going to be there for you forever and they really deserve a lot of your energy and your time because you know whether you like it or not we're social creatures and I think that it's really easy and I found in my 20s it was so easy to get wrapped up into work and wrapped up into projects and wrapped up in this and wrapped up in that and I don't think I dedicated enough time to the people who really mattered and um, that's something that I learned so don't make the same mistakes I did. <laughs> Love, success, and fulfillment all start with you. Nothing comes easy and nothing in this world is worth having is easy to come by and so keep in mind you're gonna have to work hard you're gonna have to save money you're gonna have to learn how to do your finances properly and invest and I recommend investing in your 20s so you can retire in your 40s and everything everything that's worth having in life it takes some sort of a effort or sacrifice and it all starts with you you need to be confident you need to be a go-getter you need to work hard and yeah, don't just sit around waiting for things to happen. You have to make them happen. The next thing that I've learned is an education can give you the tools to be successful and to find growth and find your way. However, it really honestly <laughs> doesn't teach you everything. Um, life teaches you a lot, life experiences and hard work. So I, always get the um, comment that, oh, Christina, but you have an education, you went to school. Yes, I did. But even though I have an education, even though I'm somebody who went to school, I don't find that my education really taught me too much about life. Honestly, what's taught me about life mainly is being a curious person. I really like Elon Musk. I know he's a controversial person, but I love this quote. Don't confuse schooling with education. He didn't go to Harvard, but people that work for him did. And what I can say about what I've learned a ton about in life and how I've been able to keep going and keep growing and keep starting new endeavors and just, you know, basically being happy and finding success, it all starts for me. And the harder I work and, you know, as long as I keep up that curiosity in life, wanting to know more, wanting to learn more, I mean, I will continue to grow. And that comes from you. No education, no proper schooling, no Harvard degree can teach you that. That's something that starts with you. I know people that are very educated, that have doctorates, degrees, and unfortunately they're not doing very good, but really they're just comfortable and they're not curious about life. Um, it's all about what you do with the tools that you're given. And that leads right into the next one, which is educated. Doesn't mean clever or smart. 
And the next one is something lighthearted and something stupid that I've done many times is not to put regular dishwashing soap like Dawn into the dishwasher and to follow the directions on every home project that you are given. Don't open up a piece of furniture and try to assemble it without reading the directions because it will fall apart and it will not be fun. <laughs> Oh, and another thing, learn how to do things yourself, ladies. Change your own tires, learn how to change your own oil, learn how to use a drill, learn how to put together your furniture. I mean, yes, it'd be nice if a man would do it for us, but I mean, having that knowledge to do it on your own is incredibly satisfying. And it will save you a ton of money to spend on things you want. And the next thing is being a female means you're gonna have to learn self-defense. So I'm big on this. Um, I have my CPI certification from work and also like I need to take more classes on this, but you guys, self-defense is so important. You need to carry pepper spray with you. You need to carry a taser. If you live in a state that allows you to carry a firearm, I highly suggest as a female having a firearm in your home, especially if you live alone. It's just not the type of society that we live in where it's safe to be alone and to be a female so always be prepared you never know what can happen and i think it's really important to know how to keep yourself safe and how to defend yourself the next thing i kind of mentioned but i wish i had started investing in my 20s and i mean opening an investment account throwing money in there and just letting it sit there um, i think i started investing in my mid to late 20s and i skipped out on so many opportunities to grow my money I really highly suggest if you are in your early 20s, mid 20s, late 20s, even 30s, and you haven't started investing your money to grow it, I suggest you do that now. Um, basically, this is going to help combat inflation, and this is going to allow you to retire early in life. And you could actually end up being a millionaire if you invest a ton. The next one is to have multiple streams of income. I figured that this was important at the age of 19. And this is important because I've noticed that I guess previous generations have things that people have told me. And this really stuck with me because my grandmother told me this and my mom told me this is they stood with their job because they needed a reliable source of income. And my thoughts were, well, what if I can create a reliable source of income that just was always there and that would allow me to switch jobs or if I was in a job that I didn't like or if I wanted to start a new endeavor or develop a new skill, I could do that without worrying too much about money. And let me tell you, it is the smartest thing in the world. Um, some of my streams of income, I have a Redbubble store. Of course, I do YouTube videos. I use affiliate links. Um, I have articles from Medium, I wrote a book, um, and of course I have my job, my nursing jobs, and so yeah, those are basically my main sources of income, including, oh, I I'm also have an Amazon affiliate, which I get, honestly, just beer money here and there, but everything adds up, and because I have so many other different sources of income, and I have a lot of different skills I've developed in my 20s, I really don't worry too much about money or if like I decide I wanna switch jobs or if I decide that I don't wanna do something anymore or if I decide I want to develop a new skill. It's not something that is weighing heavy over in my head that I'm not gonna have a way to make money. This next one is really good advice and it is to be slow to call someone your friend don't be so trusting in people. I was naive for years and thought people were my friends. And you guys, this will bite you in the ass. Be careful. You don't know someone when you first meet them. You don't know someone after a few conversations. Be slow to call someone your friend. On the other hand, don't take yourself too seriously. Honestly, the biggest robber of joy in life is taking everything a bit too seriously. Learn to laugh during the hard times and I promise you, life will be so much more fun so much easier and you'll get through the hard times much easier if you learn to not take yourself so seriously though the negative people in your life that you pass by um may bring you down and i don't think you should give them too much of your energy and the positive people in your life bring you so much joy you want to keep them around forever i feel like you can learn something from everyone so everybody who comes into your life try and learn something from them i promise you that everyone in your life is put there for a reason so learn something from everyone that you meet oh this next one i feel like i 
need to take my own advice on this one, but you guys, this is constant because you like to go to your comfort zone, but your comfort zone is going to keep you stagnant. If you're comfortable, you're not growing. So keep that in mind. Anytime you feel comfortable and you feel like you don't want to do anymore or you think you're just going to stick around, or you're happy with your life, your comfort zone is stagnant. If you want to grow, you have to get out of your comfort zone. This next one is lighthearted, but I cannot tell you how many times I was stuck in the inner city with no cash and no change to pay for my damn parking. So always carry cash and change when you're going shopping or if you're going to the city, um, you need it. You just need it, trust me. It is 100% absolutely okay and normal to feel lost in life. You're not going to always know what's going on or where you're going or know your way or know what you want. And that's a big part of life. And that's 100% okay. And you should never be scared of trying something because failure has grown more success than comfort. I think that this is so obvious because so many people that I know who are so goddamn successful and have the coolest lives, they literally failed so bad and hit rock bottom before they found their calling. So keep that in mind if you're feeling down about everything that's going on in your life. Travel. Just do it. Learning new things about new cultures and new people and meeting others from different parts of the world is something that is just completely like priceless and amazing. Giving is so good for the soul. And I know this sounds so cheesy, but I feel like giving to others and giving to people who you love and you know deserve it, I mean, you know, that is amazing. And until you experience the this the gratitude from people that you give to um, firsthand, especially people who really need, um, you, you'll understand what I mean when you do it. Say what you mean and be honest. Oh my God. So I saw this article recently of this girl who put obviously her friends in an article locally and they were, the article basically said, look, my friend looks like XYZ celebrities. And honestly, it was awful. So many people roasted this poor girl. And honestly, I feel like it was one of those mean girls type friendships where like on TikTok where those really attractive girls post their friends and they post really unflattering photos of them and say my friend's hot. It's don't be that person. You guys, please don't be that person. Say what you mean and be honest. I promise you will never have issues in life. People may react uh, a bit harshly when you're honest, but I promise you it will be better received in the end and the social issues that people have. I mean, honestly, I believe honesty is the best policy and yeah, that's why honestly I don't have any sort of drama at all in my life or anything is because I say what I mean and I'm honest and if people don't like it, usually they um, get upset and they don't talk to me anymore and those type of people I really don't need in my life. Like honestly, honest, I feel like the I have the best people, the best friends in general and we're all really honest with each other and yeah, it's better just to be straight up, like no bullshit and be honest. Do not shit where you eat. I know you young people, it'll be very tempting to date your coworkers and to have fun with people at work. Don't do it, don't do it, trust me. Also, God, you are your own boss. You control your life. Don't let anyone else try and control you. You're your own boss. Coffee is very important for adults. Um, drink it and if you haven't started drinking coffee maybe you should um, I'm not trying to hurt your adrenal glands or anything but for me coffee is very important <laughs> speaking of adrenal glands health is wealth um, exercise many times a week eat healthy drink lots of water drink green tea health is so it's the it's everything it's everything, honestly, to be healthy. So many people are gonna try and bring you down during life. People are gonna criticize you. It's just what people do. Um, and so you really need to be your own best friend. When you talk to yourself, talk kindly to yourself. Um, talk to yourself like you would talk to someone that you love because you're important and you deserve the absolute best in life. No, but really you do. You deserve the best. So don't cheapen yourself. Um, buy what you can afford, obviously, but do your good skincare, buy good creams, buy good stuff for your hair, buy vitamins. You deserve the best. And by taking care of yourself, you'll take care of other people. So your circle also deserves the best. Your circle deserves the best version of you. And yes, take care of yourself, take care of your people. I promise, like that is so important. Faith is necessary, at least I've found in 2020 in my exactly 30 years old, um, faith is so important, at least in my life. 
if you don't practice faith, I truly recommend it. And the one thing I've learned that the beginning of this year that everything and anything that I want to make happen, it starts with me. Everything starts with you. Every good thing, every bad thing. So make sure you're in the right mindset. Take care of you. You deserve the best. Have faith. Pray. Eat good foods. And take care of yourself. <laughs>